Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making teriyaki chicken and Caesar salad. Come with me, let's get started. The first thing I need to do is get a bunch of garlic chopped up because I need it both for the teriyaki chicken and for the Caesar salad. So we are going to go ahead and use my favorite garlic chopper in order to make things easy for ourselves. I like to use this tool when I have a lot of garlic that I need to chop up at one time. Then you just rinse this under water and then I just, I just rinse it under hot water and then I tip it upside down like this on a paper towel and let it dry and that's it. I can link it down below, it's one of my favorite little tools. I'm just going to set aside a little bit for my Caesar salad. Because I'm not going to make that right away, we'll make that a little bit later. I'm going to set that aside. Okay, so now I have six boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They were, as you can see, a little fatty, so I did trim them up a little bit. Now I'm just going to give them a little poke. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I do this a lot before I marinate any chicken or meats. Now I'm just going to get all of the garlic in. So we have our boneless, skinless chicken thighs and the garlic in. Next up, I'm going to add ginger. I keep my ginger in the freezer because it makes it really easy to work with. I just love ginger. Next, I'm going to add a half a cup of brown sugar. What I forgot to mention is this recipe that I'm using is from Becky from Acre Homestead. I just wanted to give her the proper shout out because she is probably my favorite YouTuber. I shouldn't say that. I have, this is a quarter cup, so I need two. I have probably, I don't know, three top and they're all tied for first place, but she's really up there because she is my inspiration and my encouragement to move forward with this channel. So I like to talk about people like that and give them credit. I think there's room for all of us on YouTube and she's just makes beautiful videos, beautiful content. So while I'm at it, I just wanna mention my top three. I know I'm not in the camera right now, but I can't, I don't want to move the camera right now. But okay, Becky from Acre Homestead, Quang Tran, and Little Mountain Ranch. She's up in Canada. Those are probably my top three favorites. Next up, she adds a half a cup of soy sauce. Some of this, you'll see some of my things I measure and some I don't. I did not measure the ginger. Need a half a cup of oil. I don't think there's a half a cup in here, but I'm gonna see what, what I come up with. I am going to use peanut oil. I'm gonna call that close enough. I need my very favorite Acre Homestead. She talks about this and uses it a lot too. And I am equally passionate about this is why I have, and I why I keep it in a huge jar. This is Korean red pepper. If you've watched any of my videos, I talk about what a beautiful, sweet heat this has. And it's not like crazy spicy burn your mouth. It is just the best sweet heat. I just can't say enough about it. I am going to add a heaping tablespoon. I don't know if we can actually call this an official measuring spoon, but I can link this down below. And lastly, just a hit of sesame oil, and I'm gonna have to go down in my pantry and get another one of these, but a little bit of sesame oil goes a long way. I keep it in the refrigerator so it doesn't go rancid, FYI. Oh, it looks so beautiful. And then I'm just going to use that much. I don't know, I'm just gonna use this. 
This is the first thing I saw in the drawer when I opened it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Gorgeous. And it smells so good. I am just going to keep it right in this bowl and put some plastic wrap, stick it in the fridge, and let this go for quite a few hours. Let me see what time it is. It's one o'clock exactly in the afternoon. Obviously, it's not one in the morning. Um, it's one o'clock, so probably four hours because I'll probably start grilling it at around five. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how beautiful. Teriyaki chicken coming off the grill. Okay, we have our chicken off the grill. You probably just saw me bring it in, but here it is. And I cannot wait to try it. It smells and looks so good. But before we do that, we need to move on now and make the Caesar salad. And let me show you this bowl that is like as big as me. This is another kitchen item that was my dad's. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know I talk about a lot of things around here in my kitchen that I use that belong to my dad. And this giant wooden bowl is one of them. The first thing we need to do is get an egg in really hot water, just hot tap water. And while we're making the salad, we are going to be, I think it's called tempering, but don't quote me, I'm not positive, but we are going to have this in really hot water the entire time that we are prepping the salad dressing. And then when we're ready for that egg, we are actually just going to only use the yolk, but we will revisit this shortly. So here's our egg. I'm just, you probably can't see it, but there it is. I'm just running the water until it gets really, really hot, and then I will turn it off. This is the garlic that we prepared earlier. Salt. Olive oil. The juice of about half of a lemon. Here's the lemon juice. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, however the hell you say it. You know what I mean. My dad used to say to put in the amount of a silver dollar, but <laughs> I don't know if anyone younger watching today even knows what a silver dollar is anymore, but it's around a tablespoon, I would say. This is kind of a weird ingredient, but I always add it because once again, my dad always did it, Tabasco sauce, about four dots of it. If anybody watching this video has ever been to Mr. Paul's Chop House on Grosbeck Road in Michigan, this is where this recipe actually comes from. Mustard powder. Even if you think that you don't like anchovies, I encourage you to not leave this out. The first thing I am going to do is just, you wanna buy anchovies that are packed in oil, and I am just going to drizzle a little bit of the oil, and then let me move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I am going to just use a few of the fillets. What I like to do is give them a really fine chop. And these will just, if you cut them up nice and small like this, and then as you stir them, they melt, melt right into the dressing really. You can even kind of smash them down like this. This is 
so fun to make. So I'm just kind of taking it and smashing the anchovies against the bowl just to kind of get them really well incorporated and mixed in. You don't have to do that. You can leave them a little piecier if you want, but this is just what I do. There's our egg yolk. Now we are ready to add in our Parmesan cheese. I took the time to grate this earlier. I highly recommend for this recipe to grate your own Parmesan. However, if all you have is the stuff in the green can, go for it. So this is where you can kind of do as little or as much as you want and kind of, if you want a thicker dressing, cheesier, add more. We need to give this a taste test because I need to see if I need to do any adjustments. I have just a couple little baby leaves of romaine. Mmm. God, is that good? Really good. I'm going to add a tad more olive oil and a tad more cheese. I'm doing it right now. You can't see me. More cheese. Mm, perfect. Mm, so good. Let's get this tossed up and we are ready to serve dinner. All the romaine going in. I am just going to give this a toss and get dinner served up. The last step I am going to do with this salad is crack some fresh ground pepper over everybody's plate of salad. Look at how beautiful this is. So good, so fresh. Dinner is on. Friends, I just wanna say thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I certainly appreciate and I'm grateful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video in right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.